soul. You are watching a master at work. This is a melody. Yeah. Oh. 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 Are we on? We lit? Are we on? Like what? Are we on? Okay, one, two, three, action. What's up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to yet another video. I am back. I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about this wig installation. I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys in regards to this hair, in regards to this unit. So I really want to spill some details and if you guys are interested in me making you guys a wig, just DM me, message me, and I'll get back to you guys because your girl is slaying wigs and these, these wigs is everything I need. I feel like I put my foot into this wig. I can wear this like on some on a summery ass day. I can't say that I'm really feeling this hair and I hope that you guys enjoy the tutorial that I have on making this wig. So let's talk about the details of this hair. So I went to my local beauty supply store searching for something to do to my head. Oh, I love the hair store. Like I love looking for hair, makeup, all types of stuff. So hair store is definitely on my top list to go to whenever I'm out and about. So I decided to get this hair originally for a ponytail installation. And the ponytail came out so nice and I just felt like the hair was it was for it to be synthetic it was super soft for one and for two i wore the hair and i slept in the hair because i had it in a ponytail so i didn't feel like taking it out every day and it just kept its you know its structure so i'm like i really do like this hair i said let me just construct it into an actual wig to see if i get the same results so i decided to make it into a u-part wig as you guys can see that's the reason why you see my hair out and also i left my edges out on the side so pretty much what I did with this hair is um, me constructing it into a wig. I decided to measure my head, make sure that it fit my head perfectly so I can be tight, it can be secure. If I do one of these, it's not going nowhere. One problem that I thought I was going to have was it tangling up in the back because it is synthetic hair. Granted, you are going to get synthetic -y feel when it comes down to the back but you are definitely able to comb it out you just have to be real lenient when combing you have to start from the bottom and work your way on up you have to take your time make sure that you're going in sections to get a better result because if you just go wham you know you're you definitely are breaking the hair for one and on top of that you're losing like the actual density of the hair so keep that in mind so pretty much what I did to achieve this look was um, flexi rods I flexi rodded it I twisted it while I was flexi riding it and I also damped it in some hot water when I initially flexi rotted the hair two weeks ago it was more of a soft curl it wasn't really like giving me any type of volume that these curls was nowhere near how it, it is now these curls are a little bit more tighter um they're more defined um i did soak them in some hot water put it in a bucket let it drain for a few minutes i put the towel down and i put it under the dryer shout out to my sis um she has like one of those salon blow dryers that you get under so i was able thankfully enough to use that to set it for like roughly an hour or so i feel like i wouldn't be able to do this video today if it wasn't for that that blow dryer so shouts out to my sis and um this is like really like a hot girl at the hair look like bitch i could really like dress it up you feel me like i'm feeling it <laughs> 